Hi, thank you so much for joining me. This is my new junk journal, but it is an altered book. So I'm doing a, something a little bit different. I'm going to have a voiceover, then I'm going to have a summary, and then I'm going to have um, these pages um, set to music. So bear with me, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. This next junk journal, I am using my leftover craft room swag. I have so much that I want to focus on just using what I have around my craft room. The altered book I am going to use is from my thrift store haul in October. This is smaller and notice the original spine looks like it used leftover material. I love that. The paper I will be using is my latest eco dye paper. I gathered these leaves when I was visiting my daughter and her family in Seattle. I sewed the paper with a cross stitch. For the rest of the journal, I am using most of my leftover material or how I like to reference my swag. This includes canvas, burlap, leftover paper, scrap paper, ribbon and just what I have in my piles. I also bought these nice stickers from TEMU. Some other material are these paper dollies from a restaurant that we just visited. I don't have very many of these, but I decided I would include in this journal. Here's a nice label holders and hearts. I also ordered these nice envelopes. Here are just a few die cuts. I will be adding more throughout. Most likely this group of inside paper will end up being bigger than expected. If you have seen my other videos, you know. I add a lot of extras. Okay, that is all for this portion of my video. Now on to the flip through. Okay, I am back and this is the final journal. This came out so cute. You, might, you may notice that this altered book had a one inch spine. I had to add more because the inside pages were more bulky than I thought they would be. So all I did was I just cut it in half and then I added chipboard. And then to keep it together, um, I used this tape. Um, it's called spec tape, pressure um, sensitive tape, and I think that they use this for drywalling. So it does have adhesive here in the back, and it's just really strong. So as crafters, we just find different ways to make our books or make any adjustments. When I teach classes, I tell all my students, you never make mistakes. There's always a way to um, make it look better or add to it. So that's what I did for this. I haven't put a title on this. I did get this from Timu. A lot of my stuff in this book is from Timu. I got this um, nice ribbon from Timu. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share some photos that I have. And I found, well actually I didn't find it. My sister has one of these Canon Ivies. And there's no ink required. It's called zinc paper. And you can print them off of your cell phone. So I really like that. So some of these photos that I'm going to be using, I'm just going to put them in here as example. A lot of times I get replies or questions on what is a junk journal. So by showing how to lay out different photos in it will give some people an idea what to do. I think I'm gonna just put some music and just go through the pages. And if you have any questions, please let me know. So thank you so much again for staying with me and I hope you enjoy this video. <music> Thank you. 
is the conclusion of this junk journal. You know what you think. I so appreciate comments. Give me some suggestions, especially with the voiceover and then with my regular voice and then with the music. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, please consider being a subscriber. And if you hit the bell in the top right hand corner, you will always have notification when my next video is published. For right now, I'm trying to do one every Friday, so I'm not sure what's going to happen during the holidays. But please stay tuned and thank you so much and I hope everyone is having a happy holiday. Bye bye.